Yo, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool drawing animation in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. You basically have the video playing and all of a sudden the last frame freezes, and then you have this really cool kind of drawing, kind of paint effect on the video. Now I'm going to go over basically how to create that, you know, the, the, the like a bare basics of how to um, create it. Obviously I'm not going to go step by step with this because that would take, you know, like an hour or so on. But I want to give you just a basic understanding of how to create um, this uh, similar effect. Now if you're wondering if you can do this in Final Cut or if it's free, unfortunately you can do this in Final Cut and unfortunately it's not free. Now, there may be other ways to do it, like you know, like a um, maybe like a different app on your iPhone. There are probably tons of different ways to do it. In this example, I'm gonna go over basically how to use it using an app um, from the App Store that does cost around well, at least when I bought it, it was on sale for twenty dollars. It's basically an alternative to um, Photoshop. It's called Pixelmator Pro, and as you can see right here, down here is the icon um, right here. So I'm gonna basically go over how to create this effect using this app. You can get it from the App Store. Uh, and I think when I bought it, it was on sale for twenty dollars. It probably gonna cost thirty, forty, tw probably around twenty, thirty dollars. So it's not super expensive. It's basically an alternative to Photoshop. So I'm gonna head over here to the example right here, and basically just give you just a quick, brief idea of how to um, create this effect. So what you wanna do is you can see right here. Here's the video right here. If I play the video right here, I'm gonna be doing it to this middle clip right here. So basically, what you wanna do is you want to freeze the last frame. So let's go to this clip right here. So here's the clip now I'm gonna go back one frame so here's a clip right here so I'm just, I just went back one frame I'm just gonna place a marker um, right here now I'm gonna, do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a freeze frame so I'm gonna go ahead and click on option F to create a freeze frame now you don't have to do a freeze frame but I think this will be a much a better way of visually showing you um, what's happening so if I go ahead and play it right here it just plays right here now the only difference is the last frame freezes right here so you can see right here the last frame freezes right there now what you want to do is you want to take a, a screenshot of this frame right here so what you want to do is you want to hover over the frame right here go over to the export section right here and then go over to save current frame now you may have to add a destination if this doesn't show up but in most cases you'll probably have this so click on save current frame this is basically the equivalent of a screenshot so example We'll just type in screenshot. So basically, all I did was I just took a screenshot of there of, of that frame, like a screen grab, whatever you want to call it. So example screenshot right here, and I'll show you what happened. And then I, I export it as a PNG um, image. You can export it, uh, you know, whatever format you want. If I go back over here, uh, just in case you're wondering, save current frame, go over to settings, and then you can change it to whatever file you want. I just stuck to PNG. So if I exit out of Final Cut right here, let's open up the image right here, and then as you can see right here, example screenshot. So I just took a screenshot um, right there. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open Pixelmator Pro right here. Now like I said, this is from the App Store. I got it on sale for $20. I think it's originally like $40, so it might still be on sale by the time this video um, comes out. I'm not sure because you know I, I already bought it, so I don't know. So what you want to do is you want to open a new document right here. Now this is basically the alternative to Photoshop. It has almost everything Photoshop has. It's basically the Photoshop alternative for Apple. So let's see right here, the width 1920 by 1080. Now I'm not quite sure about resolution, pixel engine, and color depth. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not a really big photo person. So if you have a better recommendations, so let me know. But the most important thing is just a dimension. So 1920 by 1080. So I'm just going to create the project right here. And as you see right here, it's, it's almost like an identical version to Photoshop. It's basically like a Photoshop alternative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the image and then just drag it into Pixelmator um, Pro right here. I'm just going to double click right here and then go over here to the select tool right here. Now I'm going to drag uh, the, the image right here and you want it to line up perfectly. Don't adjust it at all. Just just have it line up or else you're going to mess with stuff. So see right here, it just lines up um, right there. Now basically what you're just doing is you're just going frame by frame. So it's like any like drawing animation. You're going frame by frame. So you're painting over different different sections and I'll show you what I mean in a second so what you want to do is you want to go over to this icon right here to the paint icon right here and as you can see right here here are a whole bunch of different paint brushes you can adjust the color the brush size and whatever you want I'll go ahead and flash up on screen um, some of my favorite paint brushes so we'll do we'll change it to maybe I'll scroll down right here to maybe like the edge brush right here and then I'll change the color to maybe 
like uh, red right here, so it changes to red. If you adjust the brush size just a little bit there, and there it goes, you can see right here. Now all you're doing is you're just painting individual frames. So I'm gonna go pretty fast just to show you what I mean. So as you can see, right, actually, I'll go ahead and change it. Uh, a Voss brush is probably better, so you, you can go through and change it to whatever you want. So let's do a Voss brush, and maybe I'll change this to maybe uh, give a better idea like blue that way it's pretty good contrast so you can see right here if i paint over here as you can see right here that's how you paint so maybe that's too big so let's bring the brush size down to like 40. so you can see right here now i'm just going to paint on post malone so as you can see right here let's just paint right here now what you want to do is you want to export individual frames so command e to export right here let's name this one format png make sure all these settings are correct and then export so as you can see right here you're just basically exporting frame by frame so we're painting another one let's export this one um two so I, I think at this point you probably get the idea of what i'm trying to do so you're basically just painting frame by frame so let's go to three right here now let's go ahead and paint right here obviously you know i'm just trying to do a quick little job of it obviously you know you want to put more a lot more time and effort but i, I don't want to you know have you watching for like you know 30 minutes i would say on average a good a, a good effect or if you've done this correctly i would say it probably is going to take you 30 minutes so let's go over here to download right here so it's on five so we want this to be six you always want to make and check sure the numbers are correctly uh the numbers are done correctly so you can see right here, I think at this point you probably are understanding what, you know, what I'm trying to do. But I'm just basically going frame by frame. So I mean, I'm, I'm probably rambling on a little bit and just trying to get this done. So in the last one right there, and there you go. So you're just going frame by frame. It's really important to make sure the files are named correctly. That way it doesn't get confusing at all. So if I exit out right here, you can go ahead. I would probably save it just in case something happens. So example, and then there we go. We've just saved the, the project right there. So let's head over here. And as you can see right here, here are all of your different um, screenshots right here. So let's drag it out um, right here. So you can see right here, I'm just gonna drag out all these screenshots right here. So there you go. All those screenshots are just dragged out right there. So let's reopen Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see why it's important to make sure all of those are named correctly. So let's just open up Final Cut right here. I'm just going, to, now what you want to do is you want to import the screenshots right here. So here is Post Malone right here. Now let's go ahead and just import the screenshots right here. So go over here to one. Now I'm going to hold down um, shift right here. So let's see right here. And then right here, so let's go ahead and click on this uh, photo right here. Hold down shift and then just select all of them. So all, all I did was just hold down shift and selected all of them right here. So go ahead, click on import selected right here. And then as you can see right here, all we did was just going frame by frame. So you can see what I mean. Now you're just going frame by frame. So it looks like you drew on, just like you know, like a basic drawing animation. So let's go ahead and select all these right here. I'm just gonna put click on E to set them to the end right here. Now, this is just a couple of things that I do. I'm gonna set all of them to control D two frames. However, the last one, control D one second. So I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did. So all I did was right here, each one of these last for two frames. So each one of these lasts for two frames. And then, then uh, this one lasts for one second. So if I play it right here, as you can see right here, it just draws on um, right there. So simple as that. Each one of these is lasting for two frames and the last one lasts for one second. So let's select all these right here and just create a compound clip. So we'll just call this drawing um, animation right here. So all I did was just create a compound clip because there's a couple things I want to do to the compound clip. So let's copy this right here. As you can see right here, here's the freeze frame. Let's delete it and then let's paste this compound clip right here. So now if I play it right here, post moon goes right here and all of a sudden he just freezes and then it just draws on him um, right there. So simple as that. Now what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna keyframe the scale because it's a little bit boring just to have a photo, you know, sit on screen for like a second. So let's click on keyframe scale, go to the end and then I'm gonna scale to like 140. So all I'm doing is just animating the scale just so the photo is, is a little more life to the photo. So if I play it right here, as you can see right here, 
it scales in right so it draws on and then scales in right there and of course you can adjust it until you get the look that you want so let's head over here i'm gonna add a little a little bit of motion blur because it's just scaling in like a 40 percent you probably won't notice but it'll just help smooth out the motion blur i've made tons of videos on this motion blur plugin so let's just apply the motion blur just on top the reason you want to do that it'll just help smooth out the animation and just make the scaling again it probably won't make that much of a difference you might not even notice it but it just it'll just maybe help it just a little bit to help smooth out the animation so if i play it right here see right there there you go so post malone just draws on and then zooms in right there just add some motion blur just to help make it look a little more you know nicer so let's head over here and now i'm going to go over here to an adjustment layer right here Control d6 of frames right here and i'm just going to add a flash transition so if i go over here to the color board um right here all i'm going to do is i'm going to place a keyframe on exposure so exposure right here so now i'm going to go one two three so we're going three frames master to 90 percent highlights to 100 percent and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go one two three go to the end and then change the master to zero highlights to zero right here so if i play it right here as you can see it flashes on the screen and then flashes off so it's just basically nice so let's go ahead copy this right here and then we're just going to paste this all this is going to do is just going to make it look a little bit nicer or smooth out the transition that way it's not super harsh so if i play it right here there's a little bit of flash transition and as you can see right here boom there you go now you have the really cool effect and of course you could add a flash transition um to the end if you want but that's basically the the basic idea of how to create you're basically just going frame by frame and drawing onto the screen and exporting the individual uh frames and that's pretty much it so again all your base is doing is just going frame by frame as you can see right here one two one two one two you see you're basically just individually drawing on the different frames and in my example i use pixelmator pro but there are tons of apps you can use uh, for this effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also i have a playlist with over 280 final cut pro 10 tutorials so if you want to watch more videos like this make sure to check out that playlist anyways i'll see you in the next one peace